Hey guys, Musodison here. Today uh, we're going to be making this video on all the cars in the game, but not just viewing every car, just talking about which car I like and that, like start like how it handles, how fast it goes. You know what I mean? So it's okay. We're just going to go through every car, review it, and yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, so basically the first car is this one, the starter car, it's just basic car, the starter, you just start this car and then you just unlock the city. So this car you unlock off Moses, uh, Moses is one of the first characters you go against, it's literally like as soon as you start the career mode he just pops up with his face and then he just, you know, goes... Uh, you want to race me in that? And you go, yeah. You know, your character can't talk because your character is not a real life human being because there's no character in the car. But obviously, with this car, it's not really meant for like gosh, uh, highway racing. It's more meant for like curve racing because obviously it's like, quite a handy car. It turns really good, but the speed for it is just not that great. The acceleration is really good though. So, yeah. So we've got the MU, um, so this car you win off Steven, uh, the voice actor he plays as, uh, what's his name, Zero from GTA San Andreas, but in this game he plays as Steven, so yeah this car I actually really like, it's probably the first car, like Fishtail, well I've seen someone Fishtail in the city, um, but it's more easier to fishtail with this car, the MU, because I don't know why, it's just the physics in this game is so weird. But this car is not the really best for its handling, it's more best for its top speed, so it's best for like highway racing and stuff like that. Uh, I like the colours for it, I like the green and that. There's another, there's another three, but I'm not showing that right now. But yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if you heard that, but... Yeah, so, next car. Corrida, whatever the fuck it's called, mate. I think this is probably my first favourite car in Locking LA. Um, you win this one off Maria. And I'm not gonna lie, what's really funny is that you can actually beat all the LA races with this car and, and with the MU. So yeah, this one is probably one of my favourite LA cars, even though I've said that already. It's it's all right it's turning. The speed is just better than the city and uh, MU. So yeah. Okay guys, no not good. I don't want you to get pissy, but I'm not really into cars what can do wheelies. It doesn't really, really impress me. Never really ever really played this car all the time. I actually rarely play with this car all the time But you win this off Diego. What's Angel's dad? I'm not gonna lie, Angel's dad is not a bad guy, you know what I mean? He's actually quite nice. He's more nicer than freaking Angel So yeah The antenna, okay, so you win this off Angel and this car is not really meant for its speed, it's more meant for like turning really good. It's basically just the same as the city. What you mean win off Moses, but it's just a bit bit faster in the city, but yeah. Um when you burn out and then you turn while well, burnout in it like you know turn it go it like does a donut really really fast, really quickly. Alright, the first bike you get in the game. Kochiachi, whatever it's called. Uh, nothing really a miracle of this, it's just a bike, after all. Like, all it does is wheelie, and then you do the weight transfer where you can, like, turn around corners easier. It's just a bike, after all. You win off this off the bikers. So, yeah, let's do it, baby. Alright, you got Gina's car. Probably the most, um remembered character of all because obviously she's the one who helps you the most out in the whole career mode after you like get to meet her obviously she's a prick to you at the start but in the end she actually helps you but obviously her car i absolutely love her car mate 
love the sound of it when it drives and all um it's good it has this weird physic where like physics where like you hold the handbrake button and then like the car will just increase speed someone said in the comment that was fishtailing but it wasn't it was just me holding the freaking handbrake because obviously when you fishtail uh how i how i fishtail i just tap r1 every time i like turn left or right so i can keep on like slightly like drifting left and right constantly but yeah this car is really good i love it the speed on it's good the turn isn't that great though this is just the advanced version of the city what what's moses car but this is better version because it's this cool city turbo has a spoiler after all nice good good color as well dark blue i love that um that thing on the side that decal thing um i don't know what the fuck that is for but just to make the car look cool oh mate now this is where things start going good mate love this car man based off the mazda i don't know how i'm not sure if that's how you actually say it um but yeah they win this off hector and this car is cool is like a drifty car obviously when you turn it automatically just drifts i absolutely love this car it's so good it's such a class class car mate literally like whenever i knock this i just use it for the whole la career until i get to paris it's such a good car mate i love this car but yeah jersey excess absolute car based off the dodge viper gts i think i don't know fucking hell. it's a concept version of it though so it's not the actual version because obviously the, all these cars are just based off like real life cars but they just didn't want to make it look like real life car because i think rockstar will get into serious trouble maybe they didn't have a lot of money at the time i don't fucking know but obviously this car is quite a heavy car obviously when it drifts it can it's kind of hard to get it out of drifting so yeah, the speed of it is good. Acceleration's alright. Obviously, it says it there. It has two nitrous kits. So, if you just want to, like, blast yourself on the road, then you can. Twice. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say anything about this car. This car is just fucking awful. Boost. Wow, what a great name for a car. Like, look, the stats look good or no. You win a soft blog. He is British, by the way, just let you know. And I'm British myself. So, to anyone who takes piss out of blog, I don't give a fuck, alright? But, anyways, this car is honestly dog. Honestly, like, honestly, when you're playing with this in Paris, it's honestly shit. Because when you're driving on concrete, freaking the car bumps so much. It, like, bumps around. Like, it, like, like jumps around a lot. You literally cannot turn. Like, the, the, the handling on it. It's really good, I promise you. The handling, the turning is really good. The speed is alright. The acceleration is just when you're driving on concrete. It's freaking shit. So, yeah, <laughs> let's just move on. Now, this is Jill and Julie's car. Outstanding car, honestly. Literally, I was watching someone doing a Minute Club 2 Let's Play and I literally told them to use this car. You can literally you you can literally use this car all the way through Paris, mate. It's outstanding freaking car. And the funny thing is, it shares the same engine sound as the Knight you win a Nico in Tokyo. But we will get to that car, I promise you. So yeah, um, this car is really good, good handling, and also a good thing about it when driving concrete, it doesn't bob up and down like boost the uh, car boost does. What you win off the blog. Speed is a bit more bad than the blog's car, but outstanding. I love it. I love the sound of the car. So, yeah. This car. Okay, so you win it off three more. And the only thing I really like about this car is that it, it can fishtail really easily. Like, it just needs to get up, up to a certain amount of speed. And then you can just start this fishtailing. And then you're just basically just going to dominate your competition, mate. Honestly, this car is good for that, but anything else for it, it's just fucking... Oh, shizer, mate. I was never a fan of this car, so yeah. Yep, just another car. An Allard, you win a Stephanie, or Steve, Stephen, or whatever his name is. Obviously, the speed of it, 
it's not that great. The handling and acceleration is just good. Fuck me, mate. This car doesn't look bad for its looks, honestly. Like I love just using this cruise, using this car just to cruise around in Paris. It's just nice. But yeah, that's really all I like. All I like about it. So yeah. All right, so this car, Ian's car. All right, so I barely use this car. I rarely use it, but I do remember that every time you like you turn in it, it automatically does a drift. It's not a. It's, it's all right. It's just when driving it, it just looks fucking awful. I don't like the back of the car. This looks so bad. The spoiler looks good though, but yeah, the handling's all right on it. Acceleration, yeah, it's quite all right. And then the speed is not as great, but. I barely drive this car, but if anyone else likes it, that's that's up to you. Obviously, in my opinion, I just don't really like this car that much. It's not that great, so yeah. Alright, so another vehicle you can win off Ian is his motorcycle. I'm not going to lie, this bike is quite shit. Like, I actually do not like this bike. Um, I know some people out there might like it, but I just do not like it. I think the main reason why is when you're doing weight transfer and it feels like it takes so long for your character to f actually do a good turn. I feel like the weight transfer on this bike is just not that great. For some reason, it just sounds like a fucking moped, even though it's supposed to be a sports bike. Um, but I do like the look of it. I, I'm not gonna lie, when I look at it, it reminds me of the Batty A01 from GTA 5. Honestly, that bike on GTA 5, the Battery 801, is actually not a bad bike, and it's very really cheap for $15,000. Uh, but yeah, this is why I'm not really into this bike. This is probably the worst bike for me in this game, and yeah. The what, this car, you win a freed. Uh, no, it's just one of those another car, it's just another one of those cars where it just has good turning, accelerations are right. Freaking speed is off, god awful. But I like the look of it, it looks really nice. I don't know why, but like in the main menu, the car looks more brown color, but when you're playing it in the game, it looks more orange. Because the color is orange, the normal color for this car is orange. So yeah. Okay, so you got the victory. What you win off, and what is his name? Oh shit, I forgot. He's like a police officer, but he's like... I don't know. I forgot his name. But anyways, uh, so this car is... I always use this car go, going against the Paris, which is the champion, champion of Paris. And the speed on it, it's not great. Oh, acceleration is alright, but it's one of those cars where it does like a little wheelie. So when it does that, you can't really turn left or right that like great. Handling is alright. Obviously, when it comes to drifting, it's good. So I always rely on drifting with this car when it comes to turning in around corners and stuff. So yeah, not a bad vehicle. Modo Prego. You win off half here. Champion or Paris. Oh, sorry about that. This car, absolutely, absolutely good. Honestly, good vehicle to use when you start your Tokyo career. Speed is good, acceleration, hand, and everything's good. It's probably another one of those cars where you can fishtail, you just need to get up to a certain amount of speed. So, yeah, I love it. The color's great, good car. Uh, good color for a car. Um, yeah, it's based off the Porsche. But I'm not sure what the actual Porsche is name's called. Also, you just have to look on the wiki to see if that. But yeah. Alright, so this car you went off uh, Shing's mate. Ichiro or something like that. Speed, acceleration, handling. And it's not like the handling's shit on it with the turning. But I think this car is one of those cars that you have to always just drift around your turns for. And another thing as well, this car fishtail is really good, and I think it's the fastest car in the game because it can reach up to 400, no, 249 uh, miles per hour. Um, I'm not sure about KMH, KMH, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, this car can reach up to the max speed in this game, was 249 miles per hour, 
what's absolutely mad if you is that you can only achieve that by fish chain i think i think nitrous maybe i don't know but yeah uh so this is actually this, this is shing's car love this vehicle i do rarely use it but when i do use it i am quite aware of it i think it's another one of those cars that could i think fish can fish tail speed on its great acceleration handling and, and yeah nitrous comes with three nitruses so this car here it was we originally win it off pre uh primo back in paris but it doesn't tell you that you won it because they may want you to think that you won the other car but in but in, right in but the thing is, you actually just give this car to Gina as a thank you for all the help. But evil, evil is uh, Ricky steals off Gina because she didn't pay her debt, whatever it fucking is. Who gives a fuck about it anyway? Fucking bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> yo, 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 okay, stop, stop, stop. Alright, there's a the Vortex 5, outstanding car. I love it. Yeah, it's handling's really good. The turn is good. When you drift, it like, honestly, like drifts really well. Literally, when you drift, it kind of like, locks the drift in. And then like it helps you like navigate through corners really good honestly um i love the sound of this car it sounds like a battery car um so yeah so you've got Haley's car here um out uh toy based off the toy it's a supra uh loved it. i actually like this car the car engine sounds really nice and quiet it can fishtail if you get a certain amount of speed Handling on it's alright, acceleration and speed is good. It's actually a bit more this this car's a bit more faster than the night. What's going to be coming up right now? So the night. Okay, so this is probably like the best car you can get in Tokyo. Uh, you get off Nico or you guys know G04, Nico Bellic. Hey boys. Um yeah, so this car is not really meant for the speed, it's more meant for the acceleration and handling. I think this is the first car you get in Tokyo where like the acceleration is actually mad. But obviously with this game by playing when you play at 30 FPS, then that's how the cars actually perform. If you play with higher FPS then the cars are not as great with the burnout in and the nitrous in and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for this car. Uh, yeah. So you got the fastest bike in the game, yo. Win of Zen. Out I love Zen, mate. He's such a great character. I love his voice. And obviously he you, you never get to see his actual appearance. You just see his eyes and stuff. And the cool fact, in his cutscenes, he's like the only character where he doesn't talk to you with voices in your head and when in his in his head, like other characters do. He literally just says everything out loud. Which is actually quite cool. And yeah. Um so this bike is honestly really fast handling is on its good acceleration is really good and the speed and i'm not gonna lie this bike actually works well better for me than freaking ian's bike honestly i love this bike it's so great the cover car of this game kenichi's car we'll pull it to the right color red there we go so yeah this car I absolutely love it. It's always my favourite car. I always use this against Savo. I never like using Makoto, Makoto, Makoto's, Makoto's car because it's and shit. But yeah, either way, this car it has good handling. Speed is good. Acceleration's all really good. I was about to say awful, but nah. Oh god, I'm clicking my knuckles. But either way, yeah, that's it for that car. Now this is the car I was talking about whilst I was talking about Kenichi, so yeah, this is Makoto's car. The champion of Tokyo. Yeah, it's... The handling, it says it's good, but it's not that great, like... I have a few problems with this car, first of all... When you, you drift, and like, you might hit something, it like, locks you in a drift, so it kind of cause you to have a crash. And then you struggle to get back up to the opponents. So this acceleration on it is good. The speed, it's just the handling, it's not that great. My key to this car is by drifting around every corner you go for. Don't just rely on turning it because the turning on it is really bad. Obviously, it's just another heavy car like the 
Jersey XS. But yeah, this car is not that bad. You just need to drift around corners. All right, so this is the last car you get in the campaign. You win this off Savo, AKA as the world champion. Um, this car is basically just the best of all. Has good speed, good acceleration. Handling is great. When you turn really hard, it automatically goes into a drift. But a good thing as well with this vehicle is that it can easily pull off a fishtailing um, uh, skill. So you don't really have to go that fast and it already just fishtail. So yeah, now let's move on to the special vehicles, that the additional vehicles you, you can get in arcade mode. Oh, okay, we're just going to go over the cop cars first. LA Cop, um, nothing special about this, it's just a cop car. I never use the cop cars in this game, I don't really like any of them. I think the only one I like is the Takeo cop car, but yeah, the LA cop car, it's just a cop car to me, everything else. Yo, Paris Cop, mate. Um, yeah, I never use this cop car. I do I do remember when I was driving it, it does share the same... Um, yeah, it, share, it shares the same engine sound as Makoto's car from Tokyo, the Nissan Skyline. Obviously, the LA Cop car also shares the same engine sound as the Jersey XS. So, yeah. Uh, nothing really great to this car, really. I don't really care about it, to be honest. It's just a cop car. Uh, this is probably one of the fastest cars in the game. Uh, obviously, I did say that Ichiro's vehicle is the fastest car, but this is like the fastest car in, in when you do drive it, drive a car normally, where like the acceleration, the speed, is all good. Obviously, this car is not good at fishtailing. I don't think it can fishtail at all. I don't think. But yeah, this car is really, really fast. You use it in the campaign to take out all the street races to pay off uh, Gina's debt to Kenichi. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty it. Last car. So this is, people say this is the Batmobile, and yeah, it kind of is like the Batmobile. Um, yeah, this is like a jet car, and it only has two gears, and it has five notches kits. And it's, I don't know what to say about it. It's not really one of my favorite cars that I'd always use every time. I like just using other cars, because it's like normal basic cars. I hate like futuristic cars like this. I don't know, you know, people, like, there was a cut game, there was a cut vehicle from this game before this game actually got released to the public, and it was like a picture of it. Like, the picture's right here, if you want to see it. Um, it's like, it's like in a, it's like red, and I think it was going to be originally one of Kenichi's cars, because, like, he had a dialogue where, like, he said, like, something like, you should see, and I, I have another car, something like that. Um, it could have been this car, and there's another, there's like another two cutted vehicles. One was called, going to be called the Vampire. What well, was actually a really good name for a car, I'm not going to lie. And the other one was called the Crusader, or something like that. And I knew, and there was a cut cop car, but it looked, and in the picture, it looks the same as the cop car we have now. So, I'm not sure what they mean by that, but yeah, so... Yeah, that's pretty much all the vehicles in the game. Yeah, that's really it. Here's the thing, yeah, when you play this game all the time, um, that's the thing, when you play this game all the time, it kinda, it's kind of a bit sad because, like, you know all the cars and all. Because when you first ever play this game, like when, when it's literally your first ever time playing this game, you do not know any of the cars in this game. It's more fun to unlock them. But when you know that... You, when you know all the cars you've, you, you when you know all the cars what in this game when you unlock them it's not as fun you know what i mean but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy that video um i just wanted to make this video uh because um i just thought why not because i've been playing this game for so long ever since i was nine years old <laughs> obviously when i was nine i was not this, as good as a game i couldn't beat dice yo jesus christ but yeah it's been your boy Silas in here. Um, hope you guys did enjoy that video. Just make sure to check out my other videos as well. Oh, sorry, I had a hiccup coming. Ooh. Um, yeah, make sure to check out my other videos. You will like them, I promise you. Uh, I only clip 
clips in my games if it's like anything good i'm not going to clip something that's basic and boring i'll make sure that it's good because obviously when i'm when i'm playing a game i make sure to clip the last 30 seconds i i did in that game so if anything does good does happen then i can clip it so yeah uh peace out and bye